In example 8, we are expected to solve these equations. Sec theta is equals to negative 2.5. Primarily, we know the sec theta is simply 1 over 1 over the cosine of theta, which is negative 2.5. And when we have this, it follows that this can be over 1, it is, of course. If we cross multiply the two, because we are interested in making uh, the cosine of theta, the subject of the formula, we are going to have minus 2.5 cosine of theta is 1. And when you divide by negative 2.5 on both sides, it follows that now the cosine of theta is negative 0 0.4 because 1 over negative 2.5 is negative 0 0.4. And all what we need to do, especially in such a case, we can use, uh, we can solve this graphically. And if we are going to solve it graphically, we are going to, I don't know whether we have the, the range. Yes, we have the range from 0 to 360. We have it this way. There is one there, there is negative one, there is one there. When the cosine of 0 is 1, and there is 90, and there is 180, and there is 270, and there is 360, this is 270, this is 180, this is, let's say, 90. So we have a graph that looks like this. We have a graph that looks like that. And that is a, the graph of y is equals to, this is the graph y is equals to cosine of theta. When it is equals to negative 0 0.4, so we have to identify negative 0 0.4, and draw a very straight line there and call it y is equal to negative 0 0.4. So at the point of contact or intersection, those are the possible values of, of, of x at the point of intersection. So we are also told that theta, um, example 6 tells us accurately, theta is going to be, it is, is, is going to be, one around 114 degrees when it is here and when it is here it's around 246 degrees you can solve it that way but of course <clears throat> you can solve it using the unit using the unit the unit circle what do i mean by the unit circle of course now it follows that there is a certain angle whose Cosine is 0 0.4 and we don't know that angle. Let's talk about uh, the shift cos 0 0.4 shift cosine uh, answer is equals to what? 36 degrees. <clears throat> um, the, what is the cosine of 36 degrees? The cosine of 36 degrees uh, 0 not that 0 0.4 equals uh, yes shift cosine answer we get 66.4 degrees so we're going to have 66.4 degrees but remember it is negative so if we follow the rule of all science teachers complain then we realize that cosine is positive here and here so we are having our angle in the second quadrant, 66.4, and in the third quadrant. So what is one value of theta? If you are considering the angle in the second quadrant, we don't get to 180. 180, we have 66.4 degrees shy of 180. So one value of theta is 180 minus 66.4. Uh, which 
gives you is accurately like is equals to one one three point six degrees. That is the possible values of theta. You can see we have a lot of agreement there. The second possible value of theta is that of course one eighty plus sixty six. This is the second value of theta two, which is one eighty plus sixty six point four, which is two forty six point four degrees again you can see it has a lot of agreement with that and that is how we can solve this particular question using two approaches uh, but it is part b that we need to consider in a very special way because part b is talking about um, let's talk about part b the cot of two theta is equals to negative 0 0.6. Likewise, this is a secondary trigonometric ratio which gives us 1 over the tangent of 2 theta is 0, not negative, but positive 0 0.6. What is the meaning of that? Of course, over 1. What we are getting here is, is that the tangent of 2 theta is 1 over 0 0.6 which is 10 out of 6 which is 5 out of 3. Uh, fine. Of course we need to identify the angle whose tangent is 5 over 3. Uh, 5 divided by 3 is equals to shift turn answer we have 59 degrees let's just talk about 59 degrees there and because this is uh, this is positive because that aspect is positive if we use all science teachers complain then we are talking about quadrant one and quadrant three so we are going to have 59 degrees there so what is theta it is important to note that we are still talking about 2 theta. So if we talk about 2 theta, then we must also talk about theta because the question is upon theta. And if the tangent of 59 is 5 over 3, so at some point 2 theta is 59 degrees. So what is theta? The theta is simply the half of this, which is 29.5 degrees. At the same time, you can also have 2 theta to be 180 plus 59, which is 239, which is 239. And what is theta now? You divide that by 2, 239 divided by 2, which is going to give you 119, 119.5. And because the range is between 0 and 360, we are still very far. If you consider 119.5 degrees, we are still very far from, from 360. So we need to engage the second, uh, the second circle. For example, we're going to have 360 plus 59. Now, 360 plus 59, which is 400. 2 theta can be 419. And 419, you divide that by 2, you are likely to have 209, 209.5. It is also important to note that we can still move on because we are still very far. That means uh, 360 plus 239 plus now this angle 239, which gives us 599. 2 theta can be 599. Half of that divide by 2, it gives us something to the 2. 99.5 299.5 I don't know whether we can move her further but let's just try uh, because the second round would be the first round would be 360 the second round 720 plus 59 720 plus uh, plus the other 59 59 and we get 779 if we have 2 theta to be 779 then divide that by 2 to get theta is going to be 
389, 389.5. And you realize that this one is outside the range. So our value of theta is 29.5, 119.5, 209.5, 299.5. That one is not inclusive because it's far beyond the range. Please note that sometimes you are expected to divide depending on the nature of the question. But this is nothing new. There is nothing new here because we have looked at that in pure mathematics 2 and this is pure mathematics 3. So please uh, find your own position and move on. All right.